Mr. Tucker. Thank you. Good morning. I'm here today to support the continued use of trolley buses in our city. Two years ago, I was employed at Syncrude in Fort McMurray. So as you can imagine, I have an appreciation for the environmental impact involved with the production of petroleum-based products, such as those used by diesel and diesel-electric hybrid buses. Well, trolleys produce zero in-street emissions, I hear a lot of people argue that there is substantial pollution involved with the generation of electricity, be it via natural gas or coal. It seems to me that these people forget where diesel fuel comes from, not to mention the fact that electricity can be produced through green methods such as wind power. What I saw at Syncrude was horrific, and I decided I did not want to be a part of it. Within a month of returning to Edmonton, I sold my car. I'm not, I now commute by bike or bus. In the summer months, I cycled to work from the north end of the city to Canada Place in central downtown. Riding through rush hour traffic, I'm often caught behind a diesel bus for several blocks. Definitely not an enjoyable experience. They are loud. They generate a lot of heat. They are slow to accelerate and their exhaust fumes are very noticeable, especially when you have an increased respiratory rate from cycling. I find trolleys to be much quieter and easier to breathe behind. I have <clears throat> also ridden behind a couple of the hybrids ETS was testing. I found them just as loud as regular diesels, and I didn't notice any reduction in terms of their exhaust fumes. Here's an interesting quote I found on the City of Edmonton webpage. LRT is good for the environment. LRT reduces air pollution, contributing to the quality of our health and our environment because it emits significantly fewer pollutants and greenhouse gases. Obviously the, must, obviously the same must be true of trolley buses. After all, both are electric. Trolleys offer greater flex, also offer greater flexibility and serve a larger ge geographical area than the LRT. If the city decides to support ETS in abandoning our trolley network to save money at the expense of the environment, perhaps, perhaps they should also look at scrapping our blue bag recycling program, another avenue in which money could be saved at the expense of the environment. As far as I'm concerned, diesel buses are a dead end. They rely on a non-renewable resource and contribute heavily to street level pollution in our city. On the other hand, trolleys offer zero in-street emissions, and with options for green power, such as Bullfrog, which is currently available within the city of Edmonton, could potentially be 100% emission-free. The choice should be as clear as the air we breathe, literally. Thank you.